Alright, and then so you're gonna pull away and then you're just gonna go like this or something. Like this. Like this. After analyzing the video I made four years ago, I decided that it was actually not that really good of a video. And so today, I wanted to add five more things that you guys can do or know before you go to Japan to help you just enjoy your Japanese experience. And as you guys can see, I even have the same background that I did in the other video. I have my piano right here, I have all these Japanese weeaboo stuff, because we know all of you guys like weeaboo stuff, am I right? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> You're a weeaboo. Oh. Number one. Everyone in Japan is gonna stare at you. Everyone around you is gonna stare at you. Why? Because they're foreigners. In Japan, they don't see foreigners, okay? They tell me it's because we have big noses or big eyes or our, our lips are really cool or our, our like chins are narrow, but it could also be like maybe we're like tall or tan or black hair and brown eyes and handsome. But that could just be me. Anywho. So also, people in Japan are so helpful. Like, if you're ever a foreigner and you need to find a place, stupid phone, I hate you. If you ever get lost, just ask someone. They'll help you. Even if they can't speak English, they're gonna bring you to someone who does speak English because people in Japan are super considerate about the needs of foreigners visiting their country. And they love foreigners coming to the country. They're so friendly, so just be prepared that everybody's gonna stare at you, but they're gonna be helpful if you need any help finding anything in Japan. Number two. Be prepared to blow people's mind with the Japanese you're gonna know because all they're gonna expect you to know how to say is Hello! How are you? My name is. And if you can know anything outside those three words or phrases, they're gonna be like Your Japanese is amazing. But some phrases that you probably will learn from me is how to say stuff like Hello! Where's the bathroom? Where's a good restaurant? What time is it? Where's the train? How do I talk to the girl next to me who's really pretty but I don't have any self-esteem because I don't know how to speak Japanese and she probably knows how to speak English and I don't start a conversation because I'm really, I'm really awkward and I have no friends. Number three. Now time for San, which means three in Japanese. <laughs> okay, this one's actually really gross. I don't know why they do this in Japan, but it's just everywhere, okay? Be prepared that anywhere you go, especially convenience stores, which are everywhere, are gonna have pornography. Just anywhere, anyone can see it. They just have magazines everywhere. You're gonna walk, guess what's gonna be like? You're gonna walk inside the store, you're gonna take a left to the bathroom. You walk towards the bathroom and on this little like right sh shelf there's always gonna be a rack of magazines that you can just look at and it's open to the public. There's like kids that walk into the store to get like candy and stuff and anyone can look at it. Why Japan? Why? Why Japan? That's so gross. I've actually never seen anyone buy any because I think anywhere in the world would be kind of weird to buy like magazines during the daytime but they probably do it in the nighttime because there's always like they're always selling it and obviously they'd be selling it if it like made money so I don't know when they buy it but I just feel like there's a lot of there's like a time frame where creepers come into the store and I haven't met them yet so just be careful when you go inside of those convenience stores number four now this one is super important okay make sure you write this down on your arm on your face and paper okay before you go to Japan make sure you carry a Pokemon with you at all times this is the one that I got. His name is Charmilly. I got it from the Pokemon Center. He's pretty cool. But anyways, you're gonna be fighting. You're gonna be people on the sh on the streets, and they're gonna challenge you to a Pokemon battle. And you're gonna toss them at each other. Which one falls over wins? Actually, you don't really need a Pokemon. I just made that up. But like legit, make sure you hit up the Pokemon Center when you go to Japan because it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. If you're even going to Japan and you're not gonna go to the Pokemon Center, then why are you going to Japan in the first place? Pokemon is from Japan. Everybody in Japan loves Pokemon. You wanna make friends? Get Pokemon. Now for, now for real, number four. Now make sure that... Now for number four. Now make sure that you're prepared to eat rice literally every single day. No matter where you go. You're gonna go to a fast food, a restaurant. You're gonna go to like a, a village inside of a mountain where the grandma's trying to make you traditional Japanese food. There's always gonna be rice in there, okay? I said it in my last video to make sure you know how to use chopsticks because chopsticks are essential when you eat rice. You need to know how to use chopsticks. Because if you're gonna be that one foreigner who can't use chopsticks, why are you going to Japan in the first place? Also, if you don't like rice either, why are you going to Japan at all? Just don't go to Japan, stay home. Save Japanese the decency, and don't go to Japan if you don't like to eat rice. And if you wanna blow their mind, this is what I learned while I was in Japan. There's this cool trick where 
This is cool. Dang it, I like, I like looked this up on a video. Um, you use this cool trick where you can like spin the things on your finger. Yeah, after you like learn this, I learned this in Japan. Yeah, I like learn this in Japan every day. I practice with my friends and stuff. And so, if you guys want to be way cool, you can learn this too. Learn other chopsticks tricks like, like, this is what I'm doing right now, ready? Learn how to use chopsticks. Number five. The last thing you should know before you go to Japan, and that is Japanese weather. So I lived in Japan for a total of three years, and let me tell you, the weather in Japan just sucks, okay? You have, like, during the winter, it's just freezing cold because it's humid. And no matter how much you, like, put on stuff, like, your body's just freezing cold no matter how much you put on. And then you have, like, raining season, and that sucks because you're either gonna sweat from, a, from, all, the, from all the humidity, no matter how much you wear this, you're either gonna sweat because it's so hot, or you're gonna just be soaking wet because it's raining. So you just can't win or win. You just can't win, okay? And then you have the summers where it's just like blazing hot and you have to just take off all your clothes all the time. Actually, I probably wanna keep that. I don't want anyone to see my muscles, right? Yeah. There's always, there's just a small little like period of time where you can actually just wear a t-shirt and some shorts. And that's during spring. You have about three to four weeks of perfect weather. After that, that's when you start getting the crazy weather before or after. And during that small period of time, they have a thing called sakura trees or cherry blossoms, which are so beautiful. I saw them every day. And they only last for two weeks in Japan. And so make sure you go see those if you see them too. We just recently got back. I'm gonna start pumping out videos again and some content. So please let us know what you liked, what kind of suggestions you wanna like you wanna see. Please let us know what you like, any suggestions of what you guys wanna see from us, and we'll try pumping out some more videos and get back on track. Love you guys. I'm sorry, I just I just gotta do it. Japan then. Why why, yeah. why thought this was better than the last one because I actually put effort. Okay. We have to put effort in this. <laughs>